right, friends, since it's St. Patrick's Day, we're going to read How to Catch a Leprechaun. The night is dark, the streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my tiny hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. I'll pull out all your laces and put glitter in your hair. And when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. You'll never catch me in your trap. Oh, but I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down and turn your toilet green. House number one, I'm going in. Really, is that your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick? I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house. I fixed your shoes. They were really quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Now we're talking, look at this. Oh, it's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever. I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. Ha ha ha, now you're getting fancy. But I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pansy dancy. Oh, it seems an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Your entire house is one big trap from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough, I'll stroll right out the door. The leprechaun be gone 3,000 gave me quite a scare, but without a four leaf clover, I won't get caught in there. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible, that's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap. Who will that child be? Better luck next year.